Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Crystal and this is my social thread. So it's that time of the month again. I've just received my All Set to Sew So Luxurious box from Little Miss So and So and I'll be opening that live with you today. I'll also be going through the process of how I went about choosing my fabric and my pattern for this month and also revealing last month's uh, garment which I've made up for you. Um, this is coming to you a little bit late um, because I have been quite busy. For those of you that do follow me, you'll notice my background is slightly different because I have moved sewing rooms uh, from our upstairs spare bedroom we've moved downstairs or I've moved downstairs to what used to be the children's playroom which didn't really get used much and it was just sort of a dumping ground for all their toys and it was just really really messy so anyway we have moved um, the sewing room um, and it's now a sewing room slash office downstairs so the um, shelves behind me are kind of all sorted Sadly, they're not all in the right colour palettes, but um, they're nicely and neatly folded, which is nice. And I'll just pan you over here. There's still quite a lot to do. That's my IKEA things on the wall. Another set of shelves there. And that's all the chaos on the floor over there. So anyway, that's why I've been late posting this. Um, my husband's actually in the room as well, and he's just giving me a cheeky smile, so he's making me smile. Um, uh, but that's why. And also, my camera is... Um, propped up on a chair so it's not the best setup but I thought I'll just get this recorded so I can get the um, content out to you um so first and foremost um uh, for those of you that follow me you'll know that I am a brand ambassador to little miss so-and-so and they kindly and generously uh, send me their so luxurious kit uh for free every month in return for a unbiased um review on um vlog and a photographs on instagram that sort of thing and the box that I do receive is a so luxurious one as I say it's 65 pounds a month including postage and packaging and with that you get your um, fabric which is up to three and a half meters depending on the on the pattern and um, you get the pattern of course all the notions included and you also get a lovely um, little gift in there as well and um, the pattern because it's the so luxurious box uh, the fabric I mean um, you can choose from a range of um, luxurious fabrics that they do stock art gallery lady McElroy, um, Dashwood Studios, Atelier Brunette, that sort of thing. So it's really, really lovely. And it's really great value for money because if you add up everything that you get in the box, it definitely exceeds the £65 by at least a good 10, 20 pounds every month. So that's great. So every month I get an email um, and it gives me a link to the Little Miss So-and-So website. And the first thing I do, my screen's going to show up here right now. I go to the filter, look for my pattern, the stretch pattern that's available. And this month's pattern that they were offering was the named Lori Pleated Tee. I haven't made anything from named yet, so this was really nice. Um, it looks like a basic t-shirt, but it has some lovely sort of pleat details on the actual body. It's not too fitted, not too um, loose. Um, and when I saw this white version here, I just thought, right, that is really, really lovely. I like that. And it's breastfeeding friendly as well, which is great. The sizes are, I can't really see it up here, but I will pop it up on the screen because my, um, I'm looking at a phone here and it's very um, small and I haven't got my glasses on. Uh, but it goes from a UK size 4 to a UK 28, which is great. And then, to, yeah, so you have the two, uh, two bands, 4 to 24 and then 26 to 28, I believe. Um, and then I go to the woven fabric that was on offer this month was the Sew so Over It Sophia dress, which is a lovely, lovely dress. It's just that I don't really wear things with strappy um, spaghetti straps as such. And also I was thinking of how I could hack this dress for breastfeeding and it was just going to be too much hassle uh, for me because of the ruched bit at the front. But some lovely, look at all these lovely um, samples here. Lovely bow at the back. Um, quite a sweetheart neckline with ruching at the bust and that lovely big bow at the back as well. Lovely tiered skirt as well to go with that and two different closures. You've got the buttons and you've got the bow. So um, if that's something that you, that's the sort of style that you like, definitely um, a lovely pattern to go for. It goes from a UK 6 to a UK 20. Um, and I will pop up the measurements um, at the top as well because I can't um, go through it at the moment at this moment in time. Then I go to the filter again, go through the stretch fabric that's available. As you can see here, Lady McElroy, beautiful um, jersey prints here, polka dots, different colorways, more polka dots, just bigger scales. 
uh, that lovely old rose one is quite nice you've got more florals all lady McElroy, 8.45 per half meter um more lovely florals um more polka dots all lady McElroy so far some planes finally um in their viscose jersey and then you've got some uh, two art galleries at the bottom there and those are the two that i went for so this lovely um rising blooms pomegranate and also this wandering leopard c and i'll tell you in a bit why i went for two then you go to the filter again and go to the woven fabrics to see what was available for the woven uh, pattern Again, Lady McElroy, you've got Viscose Loretta Lawns, Florenza Crepes, Viscose Chalets, lots of lovely different prints there. More variety actually than the than the jersey this time round. Lovely florals, you've got the modelling fashion prints here, you've got the faces and the hands, you've got the big wild gooses, um, you've got the Cobra Corsage in different colourways. So loads to choose from. Mighty Care Lawn, Viscose Chalets, so you've got the Viscose Moroccan Crepe. I really like this uh, this print here, the Mountain Grandeur Cotton in Marley Care Lawn. Um, I just love the print, but I wish it would they had it in a viscose and not just the cotton lawn because I prefer sort of a drapier fabric. Um, and this is all the rest of the um, available fabrics for that um, pattern. So there you go. Um, as I said, I went for the uh, pomegranate floral print in the art gallery. And um, so that's what I put in my order. And then I got an email back from um, one of the ladies at Little Miss So-and-So saying, because it was a t-shirt, because it's a t-shirt this time round, I guess it only uses like a meter and a half of fabric. Um, I don't have it, I haven't opened it yet, a metre and a half of fabric of that. And normally for the So Luxurious kit, you get about three to three and a half metres of the fabric. So what they said, instead of giving me sort of three metres of the same jersey, um, I could get one and a half or whatever it is required for that for that pattern in two different prints. So I chose both the art gallery prints, as I say, the pomegranate floral and the teal leopards as well. So I get both of those um, enough meterage for, to make two t-shirts in two different prints, which is really, really lovely. Um, so yes, let's open the box. I have it here. I've been dying to open this. So my mother-in-law has been dying to see it. And she said to me, darling, why don't you just open it a little bit so you can take a peek. And I said, unfortunately, once I've opened it, it's it's beautifully wrapped in tissue paper. So you'll know that I had opened it beforehand. So I had to um, just um, stop my mother-in-law from forcing me to open it. So, <laughs> so it, it comes in a lovely box, quite hefty. Um, and there you go, beautifully wrapped. Um, and the new thing that I started doing as well is having um, one of these, um, kind of like a little newsletter or a little letter accompanying the box, which they never used to have. But it's quite nice because they sort of do a little introduction about the pattern. And if there's any tips and tricks, um, they will put that in here for you as well. Um, so I'm just skim reading this. They're just advising you to pre-wash your fabric, which I do anyway normally. Um, and it also tells me that um, I will have a link to the Lori T file. So instead of presumably, yep, instead of having it, um, instead of having the instructions printed out, they have sent me a link via email, which I actually have seen. I just haven't opened it yet so that's really really nice so you get that and then this month's gift and um, they have done this a couple of times though so i think this is the second time they've done this and um, now maybe the third time um it's a pdf um a pdf pattern as a gift which i think is really really lovely and also it opens up the opportunity it opens up the um variety of gifts that you can get because i guess pdfs are amazing um you know and you don't actually have to it's it's not bulky because it's it's sent to you via your email uh, so this month's gift is a lovely um woven pattern by waves and wild it's the genoviva top um and it's actually quite nice it doesn't this picture doesn't do it justice but it's this top here so basically it's a top with sort of a um not a sharp v but quite like a i don't know what you would call that a rounded v and you've got two options. I've had a look already online. You have this uh, loose option here, or you have a cropped version with an elasticated waist. 
And then the main feature of this pattern is the, I think they call them the butterfly sleeves. And you can have a longer version and a shorter version. They're still short sleeves. It's just um, how this bottom um, butterfly part flutters at the bottom. There's two different options for that. It is woven, but I think you could get away with making this up in a jersey, like a viscose jersey, but just maybe sizing down because you've got the stretch of the fabric. And funnily enough, my daughter was looking at some, um, she wanted like a, a jersey top, um, just a crew neck jersey top, but with these kind of sleeves. So that's come just in time, I think. And I think that's lovely to um, have. Um, so that's the, the gift that, that I got this month, which is lovely. Um, I've also got um, some um, jersey um what is this called interfacing strips <laughs> already cut out which is amazing <laughs> two of those and i do have the fabric and then the fabric um seems like quite a lot actually i'm gonna have to get my tape measure out to measure this um so this is the first one the beautiful floral art gallery fabric um and i love this colorway i love pinks and burgundies and dusky rose that's kind of my favorite color but this is more like a corally uh, pinky colorway which is lovely with some lovely florals on there it's quite a lot in here so yes yeah, art gallery fabric studios let me just check how much i've got in here because i thought the whole point of me getting two sets of fabric or two different prints was because they didn't want to give sort of a lot of the first one but this seems like quite a lot here. Let me measure it for you. I mean, my place, this room is a bit of a mess. So I don't really know. Um, right. <laughs> Let me try and measure this for you. Um, because they don't actually say how much you get. Um, so I think I've got this right. Have I got it right? Um, I'm going to get all confused now. Right. Let's start measuring. So this first print we have... Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. I'm stretching it slightly, but I mean, it's not going to be. Right, so that's. Uh, come on. So the first print we have. Oh gosh, quite a lot. Hang on a second. I think I still do have this. So that's three meters. I still have three and a half meters of this, which I'm surprised because I thought they were going to do it differently and just give me one point. Yep, it's it's three and a half meters of this first print, and that's why it was a lot thicker when it was folded up. Um, and then presumably the next one is just going to be enough for the actual t t shirt. So. I mean, three and a half, I could get a dress and a t-shirt out of that. Um, no problem at all. So, wow, thank you very much. That's a lot of fabric. Art gallery as well. So art gallery retails for between 20 to 22 pounds, maybe a bit higher depending on the print. So that's great value for money. Um, so I've basically already um, got my 65 pounds, more than 65 pounds worth of fabric there. Uh, and then the second print, as I said, was the teal um, leopards, which is this one here. Now that's not my normal colorway, but I thought because it's art gallery, I always love getting, um, I mean, you, I wouldn't normally be able to afford art gallery <laughs> if it wasn't gifted to me, uh, but uh, I think just something different and leopards I think is quite fun. So let's see how much we have of this. I think I'd probably, probably only have, let's see how much I've got of this. So in the second print I have, Ooh. 160 so just over a meter and a half which is what i thought i was going to get in both but i have that in in, in that um print um only which is great so i've got three and a half of the first one and one and a half of the second print which is great thank you very much very very generous um i have the matching thread for the first fabric I suppose they did give me one for the second fabric which is fine because I've got three and a half of that fabric so it's a lovely corally pink um Gutterman's 100 meters and then I have the um what is this called the um a0 printed um pattern for the Lori T 
so yep yeah, uk4 to uk28 um it seems i mean i assume it's just like making a t-shirt but obviously just with the added um added task of putting those pleats in i did toy with the idea of extending it and making it into a dress which i probably could do now actually with this fabric um, and I also toyed with the idea of putting an invisible zip in one of the pleats for breastfeeding access. But I thought as a t-shirt, you could easily just pull up the t-shirt for breastfeeding access. As a dress, maybe I could put a, um, a an invisible zip into it. But um, I'll have to have think about that. I'm not quite sure, but I will let you know. So that's the unboxing for that one. I'm so sorry, I just jogged you. Um, in the meantime, I will be showing you my make for last month and last month's pattern was the um, um, summer in New York dress by Seasons of East unfortunately I have lost the booklet it's somewhere in my area of um, messiness in this in the sewing room but it's I've got this <laughs> it's the um, the band that goes around the pattern so it's a season of east um <laughs> i'm laughing now it's a seasons of east uh, summer in new york dress and it's basically kind of like a kimono style top it's got a center front seam um the, the waist it isn't fitted and it isn't loose it's kind of semi-fitted then you've got a straight skirt a side split you've got tucks at the front um, and darts at the back and you have a invisible side side zip at the side as well this goes from a uk size 8 which is a bust of 33 waist of 26 inches all the way up to a uk size 26 which is a bust of 52.5 inches and a waist of 45.5 inches and it also comes in a lovely um fabric um this is their um, envelope pattern envelope which is lovely um and i really like this dress um so when I was choosing it, it didn't look that appealing to me, but it was more appealing than the um, jersey option, which I believe was a fibre mood jersey dress, which I wasn't too keen on. Anyhow, it was very, very simple to make. It literally is uh, the skirt, two pieces for the skirt, two pattern pieces for the skirt, two pattern pieces for the front and one back piece. So it's one, two, three, four, five, five pieces all together, plus an invisible zip, which is really, really good. Um, I pretty much sewed it up, I think, think within a couple of hours which is really it was already cut out but within a couple of hours which is really really great I did toy with the idea of adding an invisible zip to the center front seam so for breastfeeding access uh, because I do have a three-month-old baby that I am nursing exclusively but I thought actually because I chose a plain fabric I didn't want the possibility of any puckers or any zip showing I think if I'd chosen a print pattern I would have definitely gone for the invisible zip at the front but for now I will just wear this um in a year's time when I'm no longer breastfeeding um so size wise um the fabric that I chose was a um uh, a stretch linen a stretch linen fabric and I think the stretch uh, did make it really comfortable but also I think the sizing might be a bit the ease and it might be a bit generous so I originally started according to my measurements I started with a size 16 and then I cut it out and I sort of just kind of put it up against myself and I could see there was a lot of extra fabric all the way down so then I decided to trim the pattern to a size 14 which is easily enough it was easy enough to do just trim the edges and um, down to a 14 um and then i cut and i thought that was fine i put the uh, pattern pieces on me and that that was fine i cut out the fabric and i basted it together and actually i could have gone down to a size 12 um and that would have still been um not too fitted so next time round, and there will be a next time because i do actually love this dress i think it's so simple but it's so effective um i will go down to a 12 next time i think which i think will work lovely and i'm definitely going to go for a print because i think a plain as with anything really a plain fabric you show shows off all your lumps and bumps also imperfections um in the sewing process as well and also that breastfeeding um, zip that I wanted to put at the front that would show more so as well in a plain fabric or oh, the only other thing I would say is you can't see it on here but the back of this bodice is actually um, like it's got a gather at the waist so it's kind of like a blousy effect at the back and I'll show you in my actual garment um, 
but yeah very surprised by this pattern and I'm actually tempted to get there's they have another um dress which is like a shirt dress called somewhere in LA I don't know uh but a shirt dress pattern by Seasons of East and I think that's quite nice um so let me show you my dress here it's this one here so I went for a dusky pink as I said to you um my favorite color I, I do love the pinks um that sort of color color palette dusky pink is one of my favorite colors so it's a dusky pink linen but it does have some stretch to it um, as I say, I didn't go for the invisible zip this time. I just sewed it down, but I did raise this neckline by a good two to three centimeters. Everything else is exactly the same. Um, as you can see here, this is sort of like the kimono sleeve style. So it's um, there's no added sleeve. It's is it called a grown on sleeve? I'm not sure, but it's just that whole. This is one whole pattern piece here from the center front. The whole of this sleeve is one pattern piece. Um, and then at the side here you have the, um, not on that side, sorry, on the other side you have the invisible zip, I don't know if you can see the invisible zip there. Um, the neckline is just, you just uh, turn, you, um, what is this called, finish it with the overlocker and turn it under. And I never seem to like that kind of finish, but somehow it looks really neat, so I'm not too bothered about that finish, so I'm normally like... Uh, a bias a binding or a facing type person in terms of finishing off my necklines um, but I think that's actually worked quite well and obviously with the linen it presses really really well um, you have two tucks at the front here sorry one tuck there and one tuck there um, you've got um, what is this called um, darts at the back here one dart there and one dart there and this is sort of the gathered back that I've sh that I've spoken about so it lies really nice and flat on the sort of the upper part of the lower part of your back uh, but then this part here kind of uh, below is a little bit so it's a bit blousy and that's actually my favorite part of the pattern uh, of this garment I think it's slightly different and it looks I just think it looks really really lovely and elegant and you also have a side split at the bottom there so let me pop up some photos of myself wearing it and I will tell you what I liked, what I didn't like and what I basically review. So um, from the photos you can see that it's not that fitted so I think it would be nicer if it was slightly more fitted at the waist. Um, so that would, as I say, um, going down to a size 12 would work well for me. Um, and what I also don't like is that in the photos you can see the bust is, is fine, but I have like drag lines here at the bottom of the bust and I'm not sure what that is. I mean, I'm not, I don't know if anybody knows what those drag lines are because the bust looks fine and normally um, if the bust is slightly tight, you can see horizontal lines between the apex and I didn't have that. So I don't think it's too small of the bust area. It's definitely a little big at the waist. So a little bit big at the waist and maybe those drag lines have to do with that. I'm not too sure. But anyhow, um, when I do make this dress again, it will be in a, a print. So you won't see those drag lines So I can, you know, that's kind of my solution for that. The only other thing as well is these these tucks at the front. I don't understand the tucks at the front at all because with a tuck, it's literally just two um, two parallel lines, two parallel um, vertical lines next to each other, and then you just fold them together and you sew it down. So at the bottom, you kind of have like these little I don't know what that what would you call that that little kind of pucker. Um, but I think I, I, don't, I don't understand it. I, I would rather just put, um, I don't know if you can see it very well. I would rather just put um, um, a dart, like, you know, move it across here further away from the center front and just put a dart to bring that in nicely. And the ends of the darts um, for those, I mean, ends of the darts are, you know, finished beautifully. You can see there, it just, you know, finishes it off beautifully. Whilst the end of a tuck, you can see sort of how it's closed there, which I don't, I'm not, I'm not too keen on. So I don't know. I don't know why they put tucks there instead of darts, but that's, that's the pattern. I could easily change that myself. Um, it's nothing too, um, you know, too big to overcome. But again, as I say, if I'm doing it in a print, which I will be, I won't see the tucks that much. So it's, it's not too much of a problem. But that's it. So I really, really like it. It's a very simple dress, uh, but yet yeah, it's very effective, which is great. Um, and that 
that's it really that's all i have to share with you um so um also i don't know if you um i'll pop up a photo of um oh, my brain's gone blank ah Adele's got um, a really lovely version, which I really like. She did hers in a print. Also, um, I've forgotten your name. Oh, my goodness. It must be baby brain. Nicola, of course, Nicola. And the lovely Nicola of Little Miss So-and-So has made a lovely one as well in a Lady McElroy print, I believe. It's a bright teal colorway, but they look so lovely. And I just think definitely a print drapey fabric would work really well. With a bit of stretch as well would work lovely. Um, so that's my review on that thank you very much for watching um, hopefully I will have my um, July roundup of the month vlog coming out in a couple of days also oh by the way I know my last vlog when I was talking about the Vicky Sews Edwige blouse I was uh, moaning about how difficult it was and how I didn't understand it and how the instructions were really complicated and, really <laughs> and lots of my lovely viewers um, did comment below um, below that vlog to say that I had misunderstood something, which is perfectly right. I did misunderstand it. So with regards to the French seams on the sleeve of the Edwige blouse, I didn't understand it because when they when they when it said French seams, I automatically thought flat felled seams, which are totally different. But because I had the flat felled seams in my mind and then I'm reading the instructions for the French seams, they weren't corroborating. And so I just thought these instructions are rubbish because it's not doing it's not telling me to do what I'm supposed to do. Um, and the reason why is because I was thinking of a totally different different seam to what they were asking for. So a, a few of my viewers did tell me uh, what a French seam was and now I know what it is. Um, and actually, I do think it would it would have made a lovely finish in my blouse. Um, but I am tempted to make the Edwige blouse again. I do have a couple of um, fabric pieces that are sort of two meters or less, which I think would work lovely. Um, obviously, I can't get a dress out of two meters. So a blouse would be lovely. And I think the Edwige blouse is lovely. Um, so I will probably give that French seam a go. Um, and I will report back to you on how I did. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Take care. God bless. See you next time. Bye-bye.